What is going on YouTube? I told you guys, I told you, I told you I'd give you guys another video on the C10. And here it is. Today we're probably going to talk about motor mounts and cooling. As for the motor mounts, real simple stuff. This is all stuff that you guys can order from a catalog. It didn't make no custom solid mounts, no nothing fancy. Just easy stuff. This stuff goes together real quick like <clears throat> they're CPP motor mounts. They're for 67 through 76. Yeah, 72 C10, um, bolted into the factory locations, both the motor mounts and trans mounts. I did not have to drill any holes, did not have to do clearance for the headers. Everything fits like a glove in here. These guys took some time and definitely made sure their products work, and they work. I mean, I'm telling you, this shit works. Uh, if you're looking for a good motor mount kit that's not going to like break your budget, this is it. I mean, for 850 yeah, I think it was like 850 bucks. If I don't know. I, I'm going to just go ahead and stick to 800 and some change. But for headers that are nice, nicely coated, I don't know how great the lighting is in here. Not great at all. But they're coated, everything, you can't beat it. Like, you just really can't. As for the radiator, it's a Griffin radiator. That was kind of pricey. That was originally designed for the C10, or not the C10, but for the Camaro. But I decided to go a different route just because the way the plumbing was, it just would not work with my Pro Charger setup. Let me grab you guys a light real quick. Swing it up. As you can see, the radiator hose goes right where the Pro Charger goes on the Camaro. So yeah, this didn't really work. But it does work great. I'm so glad I didn't. I was going to send this back, but then I was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to LS swap my dad's truck down the road. Might as well just stick this in the closet and worked out great for me. Um, fits perfect. I did have to modify the mounts just a little bit. Just had to grind down because this is a lot thicker than the factory radiator. But, dude, everything goes together great. I mean, look how nice it is, honestly. Really nice piece by Griffin. Check out the welds on the fan shroud. That is something to talk about. That is nice. I mean, I'm a welder and I have, I can appreciate that. It's not just some cheap plastic shroud. This is really nice stuff. <clears throat> and you get what you pay for, honestly. I Everything on this truck has gone together really good. Motor mount, like I said before, the motor mounts, trans mounts, everything just slapped in. Motor sitting in there real nice. That's pretty much it. I can drop, if you guys really want, drop me a comment below. I can get you guys the part numbers on the radiator and I can get you a part number on the the mounts. Also, I could even give you a part number on the radiator hoses I use. If you guys are looking to do a similar swap like this in your C10, I can give you all these part numbers and I'd gladly help you guys in any way, shape or form I can. I mean, what else can I do? But next video, I'll probably go over. No, actually, I'm not going to go over. I'm going to unbox the end tape because that will be here tomorrow. Can't wait to get off work. Hopefully tomorrow flies by so I can get this end tape. This end tape has been on back order for two weeks, three weeks now, and I've been dying to get it. Like It's the, it's the last piece of the puzzle right now. I knew it would come down to this. Me and my buddy Steven were talking about it. I was like, dude, it's... When it was on back order, I was like, come on, man. Like, you got to find one. He did everything he could to, like, try to track one down. <clears throat> Summit had one for sale. Summit had them in stock, supposedly. But they wanted, <laughs> like, $100 more than what he was. He quoted me for a price. So I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to just wait. I'm not dying to have this truck on the road. But I really wanted to have it done for Power Tour, which it probably won't be done. I still need to tune it. Actually, I still need to finish up the, the fuel, the wiring, and stuff like that. So that next video, I'll probably post that up either today or no, tomorrow or Thursday. And probably Friday, I'll post up another video going over just miscellaneous stuff like the clutch, um, the wheel cool. tubs I made. Um, yeah, that's about it. I don't know. What else do you guys want to know about the truck? You want to know about the wheel setup, suspension? Just drop a comment below and I'll definitely make a video for you guys. <clears throat> like I said, I had video. 
I had a whole bunch of videos made up of me doing a swap, so I'm so far along ahead. It's I I got plenty of footage to like go over. I can explain anything on this stuff right now. Um, probably after the intake video, I'll probably make a video on the hydraulic setup and what harness I'm using. I know a lot of people. That is a big question I used to get on the Camaro. What harness I use? This is actually the same company I used the first time I LS swapped my Camaro. Great company. Now the Camaro is rocking a Holley Dominator setup, which is money. I, I was not trying to spend that kind of money on this truck. Um, this the harness is in this truck. We'll go over that in future videos. But um, really good budget harness. It works. It's it's just a good harness. But we'll go over that future video. <clears throat> As for this video, I'm going to cut it short. Like I said, it's just going to be a short cut and dry. Throw it up, let you guys know what motor mounts I'm running and cooling system. If you guys have any questions, like I said, drop them below. And don't forget to subscribe. Hope you all are having a great weekend. I know for me it's a short week. So catch you guys in the next video. Bye.